Hello, I'm Thomas Ward, the stay-at-home tradesman, and today we'll be looking at this vacuum chamber. First up, I've got a short montage of how it was built. So sit back and enjoy. So why would you build a vacuum chamber? Well, one of the pretty cool things you can do is simulate a atmosphereless planet. My eldest son is very keen on rockets and going to Mars and all things like that. So I thought one of the cool experiments we could do is to make a vacuum and see how different things act when they have no atmosphere around them. First part was to cut out all the pieces required. So rolling the outer skin of the pressure chamber was not easy. Rolling is not my specialty, I don't think. But I got it close enough in the end to, uh, to do what it needed to do. Certainly those who are panel beaters and metal workers will go, yep, that's pretty average, but when I weld it later on, it pulls in quite good. And here's all the components laid out. Quite a few, as you can see. Got a big stack of supporting struts. first job was to get the basic shape welded up starting with the window end as with most welding jobs I just get it tacked together first and, and weld the whole thing together properly later on Then welding up the seam. So next up is the side entrance support. If there's a spot that will leak, it's most likely here. So I supported it around. We also created a door, a doorway for the um, the hatch to be supported off. Been welding on the braces for the, for the back of it. I had smaller braces on the front, but my video camera ran out of power, so I didn't have a video on that. Here I'm welding on the feet, front and back. I've added a few fittings so I can test whether electronics will work under a vacuum or on the moon, per se. It turned out pretty well, I think. Just needed a coat of paint. And there we go. So we've been thinking about different things that we'd like to put in the vacuum chamber. And one thing my son came up with was... An orange. An orange. How do you think a orange will do without any atmosphere? Like if it was on the moon? Yeah. What do you think will happen? I think it will slowly fall apart, slowly fall apart in three seconds, then BAM! Maybe, we'll have to see. <laughs> if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see put in the chamber, please write in the column below and we'll see if we can do it. Alright, thanks for watching, I really appreciate the support of this channel and like and subscribe.